Alright, so I wanted to do this video a while ago when the Wrath Runes were actually released with the Dragon Slayer 2 update, but back then Wrath Runes were going for like 500 and 600 each, and this method was actually just too costly for it to be viable. But now since they're hovering at around 400 each, I think that this can actually be really really good. If you guys haven't already looked at the title, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be killing Lava Dragons with the new best fire spell, Fire Surge, which is actually the last spell on the spellbook, and it requires a 95 magic. We only have 94 magic, but we're just gonna pot up and then we're gonna use preserve so that we can cast the spell As for the inventory, we've got the pestle and mortar the looting bag to collect the loot an anacarl teleport so that we can get there quickly a prayer potion a magic potion a wrath runes and Just a few food in case we get hit by the dragon if we stumble across the peak air We are pretty much dead if they have freezes because we do not have the agility shortcut now this is the gear, this is the more important stuff. To get the max hit, what we're using is the Tome of Fire, the Occult Necklace, the Mystic Smokestaff, and the Tormented Bracelet. We also have a Ring of Wealth so we can teleport a 30 wild. We do have the standard Mage Arena cape, I do not have the new cape. I'm probably going to get that in the future and then we just have the Black Mystic Boots and just some random robes that I picked out of my bank. We've already got the timer on the screen guys so what I'm going to do is go ahead and start that right now and we're just going to break the Anacarl Teleport. I just saw someone there, so we instantly just logged out. Oh my god, let's hop worlds. Alright, luckily we didn't die right off the bat there. We're just gonna go ahead and mage pot right now. We're gonna put the preserve prayer on and get that fire surge on auto cast. Apparently this thing is nuts. We can hit 46 if I'm not wrong. We're gonna be killing them right here in the middle because we're gonna be getting killed so fast that we're gonna need more than one. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. Let's see how fast this first kill takes. Yeah, that took like 20 seconds, pretty freaking nuts. And we got chocolate cake, which isn't the best drop. By the way, if you're confused at why I'm able to cast this with only wrath runes, the Tome of Fire gives unlimited fire runes and the Mystic Smoke Staff actually gives unlimited air and fire runes. Remember that if you're doing this, always have the logout button at the ready because there are so many PKs here. And there's a 45, holy, into a 43 into a 34. We're gonna like 5 hit this one. <laughs> but yeah, with the lava scales, we're just gonna use them with the pestle and mortar to get lava shards. If you guys were wondering, by the way, this is like 80k magic EXP per hour, so it's actually not even bad EXP. But yeah, this inventory is gonna be really, really quick. We've already gotten 4 kills, the looting bag is at 38k. If you wanna be efficient, you can loot the pile of the other while attacking the other spawn. That way you can get the most kills per hour and we just got onyx bolt tips by the way which is like a 100k drop yeah we have to be really careful now because we actually have some really good loot on us this kill number six coming in what are we gonna get fire orbs nice that's like 20k alone oh my god we got a random event and i thought that was someone logging right into me we are just absolutely demolishing these holy shit! i just looted the other one and now this one's almost dead Another kill coming in. We got the Runite Bar. Nice. That's rare drop table, I think. Solid drop. Now, if you guys want to make the most profit, flicking a Mage Prayer might not be the worst of ideas because I do splash like one in maybe 12 times. And it does suck like right there because it does cost a rune. You know, it's not the end of the world, but like after an hour, you know, it does make a difference. Now, if you're feeling nuts, what you can bring are Alks because as you guys can see, I have a few Alkables on me right now. I also put the Addy Plate body in the looting bag. We could have alked it for cash, which is stackable. It saves inventory spots. And there's a random HP level. All right. 104 combat. God damn it. Now we have to max. Another Onyx Bolt Tip drop. Holy, the RNG is real right now. If we die, I'm going to be so sad. All right. We just ran out of Wrath Runes, so we definitely have to bring more next trip. All right. Nice. We got out alive. We're back at the Grand Exchange. Just going to make a separate tab for all the loot here. If you're here, make sure you close the gate behind you. It's actually a good idea to do that because if a PK came here and they saw an open gate, they could guess that you were killing the dragons and it could be a dead giveaway. Oh, we've got a PK over there. He's across the wall. I think it was a pure though. I don't think he can attack me. Yep, there he is. Oh my, Whew. all right. I should have hopped earlier. 
Um, we have to pick a world now. Jesus Christ, that was actually a really close call. Thank God I moved all the way back here so he couldn't attack me from over the, uh, the lava there. We're just gonna brush that aside and just continue as normal. No big deal. Nice. Holy crap, that dragon just got absolutely destroyed. No, like seriously, that was like a four hit. Oh shit, that's a peak here. Oh my god. Oh my god, please. Holy shit, we are so lucky. I was in combat with the dragon, so I couldn't log out right away. Alright, we're gonna hop to one of the Australian worlds right now. Okay, is that a peak here? No, that is not a peak here. Someone killing dragons. He instantly logged out though. Oh yeah, something I didn't actually mention earlier. When you're out here with this type of risk, if you get sculled, uh, you're losing like a good 3 mil, and if you have a Kodai Wand, you don't want to accidentally skull because if they have Dragon Spears, they can smite you out, and uh, yeah, that would not be a good time. Make sure your left click is actually hidden. You do not want to accidentally skull. If you guys want an absolute pro tip, if you get the Blood Rune or Death Rune drop, use a lower tier spell if the Dragon is at a lower HP. That way you don't waste the Wrath Rune, and that way you make more profit per hour. So uh, yeah. All right, second trip in, another full looting bag, just a full bones and dehydes. Haven't really gotten too lucky. Damn, this trip is actually ridiculous. Every single drop seems to just be either rune knives, rune javelins, or rune bowls. I left so many rune javelins on the ground. Yeah, this is really, really good mage XP. Some may argue that you could just bring a toxic trident, but um, yeah, this is really, really nice mage XP. So if you want a mage training method and you want to make some profit, this is actually really, really good. Yes, another Onyx Bolt Tip drop. That's three so far. If we can get four, that would be absolutely amazing. That'd be 400k from just Onyx Bolt Tip drops. But yeah, you see like right here, it's not worth me using a Rathrun. Rather just use Fire Wave and uh, KO it instead of wasting it. To be honest, I thought there would be a lot more PKers. We only saw two different PKers. It's pretty busy at this time on the game. I don't really know what's going on. Maybe there's just no people doing Lava Dragons. I'm like the only one. And I mean, right now we're getting 95k EXP per hour in Magic. Like, I thought we were going to level up this video, but I think I'd have to do it for like another 30 minutes afterwards. Oh my god, that guy scared the absolute shit out of me. I still logged out. I think we're just going to log back in. I think that guy was just doing a clue. I think we're safe. Oh yeah, by the way, if you didn't know this, when you have the Ring of Wealth equipped, you can actually toggle coin collection, which basically picks up the coins automatically that monsters drop. And they've actually added up really nicely here. Look, we've got 9,000 GP in just coin drops this trip. Oh my god, PK, PK. What even was that? No, how am I in combat? Oh, I wasn't in combat. What? I caught the thing in the chat box because the dragon hit me. Oh my god, dude. No, that gave me heart attack, dude. Oh my god. Nice, there it is. Last kill. Full inventory. And we got Runite bolts. That's fine. You're kidding me. Okay. This dwarf attacked me, so I couldn't log out. And I thought that was the guy with like barrage. I have no food. We would have been dead. Oh my god, please, let's get out of here. Oh my god. Flawless again, and no death. Let's bank all of this. That was a, that was a solid inventory. All right, this is the same world. Someone's using my Salamander tactic to kill them. Onyx bull tips again, guys. That's the fourth one. Can't tell if lucky or, you know, that's normal because I haven't done Lava Dragons enough. Oh god, that is a PKer. I think I've dodged that guy like three times, and boom, there it is, the one hour, nicely done. That is the bank tab, guys. We got 62 kills in the hour, which is really, really good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull everything out of the bank that we received as a drop into my inventory. All right, everything we've acquired from the Lava Dragons in one hour is now in our inventory. We're going to pop it onto the price checkered 1.1 mil, almost 1.2 mil. Now we cannot forget one thing though, it did not come for free. This was not budget Lava Dragons, this was Wrath Rune Lava Dragons. As you guys can see, we bought the Wrath Runes for 400 each. And 742 Wrath Runes at 400 each is pretty much 300k. So we made around 800k profit, which is still really, really, really good.
and there it is guys 1.1 mil 84k but yeah guys not only did we make 800k profit we we also got 82k mage exp which is really really good I'm actually really happy with the result. We didn't die once as well because we were on that logout button. But yeah, let's go give away some of the profits. I don't know what it is, but a lot of people said that I should go to the Hill Giants when doing this and giving away the money. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give three people 200K. Garth and Axe, what's going on? You got the Addy plate. You gotta do Dragon Slayer too, my man. But here you go, take this. And I hope, you know, this does you well. I just feel like giving all these people 200k. Thanks, exclamation marks, no problem, man. Oh my god, look at this guy. The full Addy rip is so nice. It actually just looks nice. Here you go, man. Hope you can upgrade to full rune soon. Uh, I think he's just 30 defense, though, that's why. Oh my god. Betty Kiss 1919, what are you doing? You're training with a maple longbow. Take my bank? Nah, but honestly, I love seeing players like this training with the maple longbow. But uh, yeah, the result of using the new spell Fire Surge at Lava Dragons actually turned out to be really, 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 really good. And I hope you guys do it. If you want some beastly mage XP and you want to make profit while doing it, and uh, yeah, I don't really have much more to say, so until next time guys.